Hi, I'm Jill Weber, and I would like to take you on the tour of the main building. This building I've spent nearly half my life in. I went to school at Roseburg High School and spent three years as a student there. I also started teaching here and spent 13 years as a teacher, and now I've been here over seven years, so I know this building pretty well. I'd like to show it to you. Let's go. This is a typical classroom inside of the main building. I think something to point out here is the shape of the classroom and how it is set up in kind of a, a long, more narrow space, which makes it difficult to try to, to figure out how to group students and how to place them in ways that make sense for education. One of the things you notice when you first come into this room is the sloped floor and the cracked floor. This is a spot where nearly 200 students per day come across the floor. And as they're stepping across, you can immediately feel the sloping in the floor and see the reason why it's cracking. I'm Rachel Jackson. I'm an English teacher here at Roseburg High School. I have been in the district for um, 22 years and this is my 30th year of teaching. I'm teaching in the building that my grandfather and my father and my uncle and my aunt all went to. This is my classroom and really um, there's only one way I can arrange the desks and have the, the students because we have one board and we have one screen and it's all right here. Even with the uh, incredible care that our custodial and maintenance staff gives to this old building. We just, they can't keep up. And a, a good indication is this corner in my classroom where the ceiling tiles have been damaged and are, are just falling down. Up here on the second floor of the old main, we don't have any running water or any bathrooms. So there's a constant flow of kids up and down the stairs, through the hallways. You know, just lots of traffic that we could eliminate if we, if we actually had facilities up here on the second floor. Okay. So this is um, one of our two restrooms that are in the old main building. Um, this is a female restroom and clear around on the other side of the building is where the, the male restroom is. The other thing to notice is how much sound carries in this building. As you can see, Noise carries pretty well. I'm going to have you follow me as we head down to the basement here in the old main. We're going to look at the plumbing, electrical, and some of the other infrastructure here. As you come down the stairs, you can tell the change in temperature as it gets warmer as we're heading into the basement from the boiler. And there's some moisture in the air, too. One of the things to notice is the electrical and a lot of the um, plumbing and other things are retrofitted into the building. This building, when it was designed in 1924 and opened in 1926, we didn't have the electrical needs then as we do now. So we've had to figure out how to make a lot of this work. Next, we're gonna head into the boiler room. All right, this is the boilers and as you can see, they're pretty old and to get any parts for us to replace them, it, we have to be creative to do that. They're really not making parts to fix these easily anymore. We also uh, do not have any cooling. And so sometimes in the fall or in the spring, our classrooms will be in excess of 95 degrees and we have no airflow or any ventilation to cool that down. This is our control room for the old main. In here, you're going to find our internet, our bell system, um, and our fire alarm or evacuation alarms that we use as well. Our internet system, you can see, has been retrofitted in here. We try to make it work within the building. Again, the building in 1924-26 was not designed for internet or Wi-Fi, and we're trying to figure out how to make that work within this building. Uh, additionally, our fire alarm is here. Every month we do have an evacuation drill and we have to send staff both to our new buildings and, our, and in here to reset because they don't talk to each other easily. We often have walkie-talkies as we're talking to each other to ensure that both sides are ready to set so we can reset to let students get back into the building after an evacuation drill. This is the system that we use to program the bells for the entire uh, school. All of the all the buildings are programmed through this computer. My name's Tim Sister. I'm a freshman health and wellness teacher. I also teach uh, personal fitness classes. This is uh, my classroom that I share with another colleague. A lot of the freshman wellness classes 
have similar classroom setups as this. Uh, this would be considered the old main. Uh, I I'm an I'm a RHS graduate here in 1998, so this building was obviously here when I was here. Our typical routine, depending on what month, you know, when school starts in September, you know, we have no air conditioning in this building, so, you know, we got the fans going, we got to open all the windows every morning. As we get into the colder winter months, we got to turn on these radiators uh, to hopefully, hopefully make uh, things work when it gets some heat. It's not set up for our electrical needs because it's so old. Next, I'm gonna take you through our uh, fitness room. Uh, the classes we have up here are our personal fitness and advanced fitness classes. This used to be two classrooms of the old main that had a separated by an accordion wall. As you can see, we have great equipment up here um, in a space that wasn't intended to be a fitness room, so we just kind of made it work. Lastly, let's uh, go check out the weight room. So like the fitness room, our weight room has great equipment um, for a space that wasn't intended to be a weight room. Since I went to school here, we've turned this space obviously into our weight room. The stage that used to be a theater. The weight room is located in, right in the middle of the old main. So we are surrounded by all of the English classrooms below and above. When it comes to the amount of kids that we have in here, 40 to 50 per period, and the noise with the music that interrupt our other classrooms. That's all I got for you. Thanks for checking out the old main.